Welcome back to my studio. Uh, today, I actually hope to finish this thing. I actually have a day with no other plans in it, so I, um, I'm able to put, commit to a marathon painting session. If it takes me eight or 10 hours, I'm gonna stay at it. I am bound and determined to finish this today. Um, and so if you wanna see how I take it from here to finish, stick around. <laughs> Yeah, so today I'm committed to finishing this painting. I'm actually really, really uh, enjoying working on it and I have enjoyed working on it. Oh, I do have to admit, um, I have never spent this much time on a 24 by 24, uh, at least not since my portrait days going back 10 or 12 years ago. Um, but I'm really loving the way this is turning out and I'm really excited to finish it, but I'm also excited about uh, tomorrow being able to start a 24 by 24 that I can finish in perhaps a day or maybe two days. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. And so I just want to get this done. Um, but I also know this has the potential to be one of the, you know, one of the most striking pieces I've ever done. So I also just need to give it the time it needs, but I'm pretty sure I can finish that today. So what I'm going to be doing today is all of these leaf shapes that are red need to be colored. Now it actually works as a composition right now um, if I were to just leave it, um, but I know it, it can be much, much more impactful by me finishing all of the foliage. Um, and so I have an idea of where I'm going with that, but that's always open to kind of change depending on what I see happening on the canvas in front of me. So my basic idea is that all of these leaves are going to be anywhere in the kind of yellows, oranges, uh, reds, browns, uh, in terms of their main color. And then they're going to gradate on the side away from the sun into cooler colors. So into per mauves, purples, even blues. Um, but in terms of the, exactly how that's going to play out, I don't know. I'm going to take that one step at a time. I'm actually not planning on putting any greens into the foliage. So just going, from kind of those warm tones into the cool ones and totally avoiding the greens um, because I do want to give it the impact of it being kind of early winter um, or late fall and these still just being the vestiges of, uh, of leaves that are left on the trees. So I'll show you my palette um, because I want to have really pure color here. This is, this is a time where it's worth kind of getting rid of the old palettes and squeezing out and mixing colors specifically for this. So, I'll hold this up here so you can see I'm not going to go into all the colors I've used specifically but I've got kind of two versions of the uh, colors going on there one's a kind of lighter pastel version oh a big hunk of white paint just dropped let me tilt this back uh, so I've got kind of the lighter pastel versions uh, here and I've got some of the deeper reds and burgundies and those kind of tones there um, and then it gradates right around to the mauves purples and blues uh, so those are the colors that I'm going to be using. Um, and again, I think it's important at this stage to start with pure, fresh, squeezed out color because I don't want to be, when we're working on old palette that we've already got out, you know, we're working on with the paint that just happens to be left. Uh, and sometimes that's okay, but for something like this, and this is going to be the one painting session that is going to determine whether this piece just turns out kind of okay based on where it is now or if it turns out spectacular. So I don't want to cheap out on paint for that. So I'm going to come back to you in a while once I've got uh, a few of these leaf shapes uh, blocked in and I'll talk about how it's going and what I plan on doing next. So I've put color in the foliage in the bottom here. I've got most of the bottom done. Um, this has actually been a lot more difficult than I thought it would. Um, initially I thought I was, these leaves were all going to be in the reds and oranges, um, but what I found that was doing is taking away from the effect of the glow in here by repeating the yellows and oranges um, all throughout the painting. And I mentioned earlier that I wasn't planning on putting like the greens uh, and the greeny blues in the leaves, um, but I actually need to do that because I need things to get considerably cooler as they move away from the sun um, and so I just had to decide that okay I don't really care about the idea of it you know looking like a 
um, early winter scene with all the browns and what's more important is the glow of the sun so just kind of throw out the whole idea of uh, what season it is because that's not really important what's most important is the composition um, and because this is an abstract it doesn't have to be anything um, in terms of what season it is or anything like that so I, I'm going to continue um, kind of just working out into this corner and up top here um, and then I will come back but um, yeah I've had to actually repaint a number of these areas take paint off and repaint them but I feel now just like what happened with the birch scars um, I kind of have an idea now where I'm going with this and so it should progress um, fairly quickly so I will come back when I've got a bit more done okay so I'm pretty sure this piece is done at least I finished blocking in all the shapes um, and again, once again, I'm really happy with this piece. Um, now I can't be a hundred percent sure this piece is finished because what always happens with me is once I finish it, so I just finished, I, I started on the leaves kind of here and gradually worked out. Um, and you can see that I've cooled them off as we moved away from the sun. Um, and I'm pretty happy overall with the painting. Um, well, I shouldn't say that. I'm actually very happy with the painting. But the only thing I don't know is if when I'm sitting here looking at this over the next couple of days, if there's going to be a few things that I still want to adjust. Um, and there very likely is. Um, but I'm going to leave that. I'm going to let this painting just kind of percolate for two or three days. Uh, because I know often what happens at this stage. There's a lot of little things that I think I might want to go in and fix. Um, but after three or four days, when I come in and look at it, I think, oh my God, why did I even want to touch it? Um, and I think that might happen here, um, but it might not. So if it does happen, I will come in. Um, and if I do have to make some changes, I'm going to do it by scumbling. Um, so that's a kind of technique in oil painting that's uh, really, really useful for doing subtle um, refinements and adjustments. So, but for the most part, I'm going to call this one done. This is the, the last video in this series. Um, and I'm actually really excited about uh, tomorrow uh, getting back to painting in my traditional style and the idea of finishing a piece this size in a day or two instead of like 10 days. Um, but I've really enjoyed this piece and I think we're going to end up doing prints of it. So I don't mind doing, spending the extra time on it. So I hope you found this video helpful, um, entertaining. If you have, uh, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe and pass the word on to your friends. I welcome your questions and comments. Oh, I'm going to be probably in two days, so that might be four videos from now, I'm gonna be doing the Q&A. So I've already got a bunch of questions, but if you do have any other questions, uh, please get them to me um, by this uh, video um, because the next one will be the Q&A. So I'm Tim Packer and I thank you for your time.